Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I'll be reviewing this, these, the Cooler Master V8. This is a CPU cooler. I had to purchase the CPU cooler because I can't manage with the loud noise of my default CPU cooler. I just can't. So I thought, one of my friends has it, then another one of my friends bought this cooler, so I thought, you know what, I will get this cooler. It looks like a beast, as you can see right now. This looks like a beast. It runs silently, it does create a little bit of noise, but it runs much more silent than what I've got at the moment. I really need a nice, good cooler, which, which cools your CPU very, very well, and does it pretty silent. So just before I start this review, I just want to say a big, big thank you to my Patreons. Without them, I wouldn't be able to get this cooler. Um, thank you very, very much for the awesome support on the Patreon, and if you're not a Patreon yet, Go to the link in the description and on the screen and on one of these cards things at the top right or left. I don't know which way. I think it's there. Um, hand corner. And you can go become a Patreon and there is some awesome rewards you can get for becoming a Patreon. So before we actually get inside of the box and start opening the box up, first things first is go through the information at the back. So this Caller Master V8 supports a wide range of CPU sockets as you can see. The one which is interesting me, it's the AM3 Plus which is right there, it specifies it, it will work for my AM3 Plus AMD socket or my CPU socket. So if you have any of these sockets that means it's going to work, um, if none of your sockets are here then there's no point buying a cooler. So the dimensions of the cooler itself and the heat sink, I'll guess, is 1.6 inches by 1, uh, 5.9 by 6.6 .6 inches. The heat sinks that oh no, that was the dimensions like the whole thing, the heat sinks and the fan. The heat sink dimensions are slightly the same, a little bit smaller. As you can see, I'm not even showing you this. So the Weight of the heat sink is 854 grams. That's quite heavy actually for a heat sink, and this is really large. It has six six millimeter uh, pipe dimensions. The fan dimensions is 140. So this cooler supplies you with two 140 millimeter Corsair fans. They run at 1,600 RPM, which is really, really, really awesome. The expected life of the fans is 160,000 hours, which is more than enough. I think the cooler will break faster than the heat sink will break faster than the fan. And if the fans do break, get them replaced. But um, yeah, that's really cool, the information over here. If you're interested in more of it, there you go. There's a little snapshot of that. But um, it's time to open the cooler up. All right, guys, so it's time to open it up. It's got that weird plastic thing at the side. I'm just going to break it with a screwdriver if I can. Hopefully I can. I don't want to scratch the box because I'm a bit OCD and I didn't really want to scratch the box. There we go. We cut through it. I guess we could just do that. There we go. Opens up like this. Nice. Alright, so the box has a really nice feel to it. It's very well designed actually. Very, very nice clean design as you can see. All sides, there we go. There's like the preview of what the cooler looks like. It's all red. And by the way, there's no other colors. There's only red. So I might modify it slightly. The cooler, I might. I'm not too sure. But as you can see, the cooler looks like beast. This is literally PC porn. But um, yeah, let's get into the cooler. So it's got a little thing over here. And let's open it up. So I actually just got it. So I never actually opened it up. It just came through the mail. I just had the phone calls because they didn't have my house number. So they had to call me. So I think this is one of the fans, if I'm not mistaken. No, that's where all the screws are. I'm not too sure. Let's open this up. That's pretty cool little casing. Okay, what is in here? Okay, so we have the AMD and the Intel backplate. So this is the AMD backplate. It goes at the back of your AMD motherboard. And when you're installing this cooler, make sure to take out your motherboard. It's a very difficult cooler to install and you need to take everything out. Sometimes some people have to dismantle their motherboard. So this is the AMD bra uh, back bracket backplate, not bracket, backplate. And this is the Intel bracket, which where you can adjust the size of where the screws are going in and stuff like that. So this is pretty awesome. It's all contained in one container. I'm going to put this back. There's something else in here as well. Let me have a look. Uh, we've got some screws and a little okay so everything's nicely packed in plastic things so inside we've got the little standoffs i'm gonna take them out quickly let me have a look so oh come on 
All right, so inside, what we got is one of those. This is the standoffs, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, these are the standoffs. We got different standoffs for different uh, types of things. I'll probably look into the instructions on how to do it. I think the AMD standoffs are the longer and the shorter ones because they kind of work in a really weird way. It depends which way you want the cooler facing. It also has some thermal paste. They actually include some cooler master thermal paste. I'm actually going to be using the... Arctic's MX4 on mine, it's a much better cooler paste, you know, cooling thermal paste, it's much better, I do prefer that thermal paste, but that mean, that's cool, I've got some spare thermal paste I will be able to use, um, so that's awesome, we've got some screws, some standoffs over here, what else do we have, and we've got some Intel sockets for the LGA 2011 socket, so these little standoffs here, and to be honest, this little bag just contained the standoffs and a little thing to tie everything together. So let's put that all back together on how it's meant to be. All right guys, so after I pack this back up, over here under this white box, there was some instructions. I guess these are the instructions on what, where everything goes. It looks like an instruction book, let me have a look. Um, yes, it's got instructions on how to install the cooler. It's a pretty large instruction. It says everything in every single language, I guess. We've got, uh, let me have a look what languages there is. We've got English and uh, Dutch, Spanish, French, Italian, Netherlands, Portuguese, and some Chinese, Japanese, Korean. I'm not too sure what languages they are. And there's also extra languages at the back. And it also includes Polish, so it's got Russian loads, loads. This is awesome. Shows you how to install the cooler, where to install. It's got little pictures right here. It's a little big. Let me just fold this a little. There we go. It's got little pictures on how to step by step to install the cooler. So this will get really, really useful when mantling the cooler onto the motherboard. So over here, the next thing is some warranty information and it is all in all different languages. It's got English. Cooler Master guarantees that this device is free of blah, 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 blah. Okay, we don't really care about that. Okay, warranty, that's really important. Make sure to keep that. If anything happens with your cooler, you've got warranty information, you know where to get it back. And then over here, we've got the user manual, which is kind of like an instruction, I guess. It is, it is, it is. It shows you the installation procedures. I mean, let me just undo this and show you. There we go. It shows the installation procedures, pretty awesome. It's really cool. This is good that it has two different ones. Different people use different types of installation guides and it's gonna get really helpful. It's gonna be really, really helpful. So that's really awesome. And now under some styrofoam, yeah, I see some styrofoam things. Let's open this up. Oh, there we go, it's really well protected. I see the cooler. Okay, can we get it out like this? Yes, we can. Oh, look at this beast. This beast is amazing. Legit. This is awesome. So, um, anything else in the box? There is some stuff in the box. There is this. I don't think this is needed. And I think this is it. Yeah, I think this is it. Let me put the box away and let's have a look at this cooler. So, this cooler looks amazing. So, what it has, let me show you. So, it has little things over here so what it has is a splitter cable which is a four pin connector which goes where normally your cpu fan goes it splits onto the two fans as you can see over here splits onto this two fans and this i think it's the leds if i'm not mistaken yes i think this is the led cable which i think you can get rid of and not have leds if you don't like rid of leds i'm not too sure i'll play around with that while installing the cooler but um, it's got loads of aluminium fins, as you can see, which will help the heat escape. It's got three radiators, one here, one here, one here, and two 140 millimeter fans, as you can see. They have a really nice design to them. Apparently, they're really, really quiet, which I'm really happy about. And there's a piece of cardboard here. I just want to take this out, just so it doesn't damage anything. There we go. All right, so looks really awesome presents very awesome we're gonna have to look at the performance and if you do want me to do like a performance test between my 
default cooler on how high the temperatures are and at the cooler at this cooler please tell me in the comment section below and i will but um yeah this is how the cooler looks like it is awesome it is amazing all right guys so this is all i've got for time for today hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to leave a like if you really really love the please make sure to subscribe this beast this is a beast cooler it's amazing. It's got nice Corner Master logo, and then the LEDs will come through here, and like nice and red LEDs. I guess you can change the LEDs if you mod it yourself, but they only sell in red. So unfortunately, I couldn't get like a green or a blue, which I really, really wanted. But I can actually mod this myself, which is really awesome. But um, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. If you really, really loved it, please make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out my Patreon page. There are many awesome rewards, and more patrons will get more type of reviews. We'll get because then I'll be able to have more money to spend towards my YouTube channel, and I'll be able to spend the money for the equipment I'll be reviewing and then actually using on my YouTube channel. But um, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you very, very much for watching. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.